Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to uh, do a quantile wise causality test using quantile regression in R. This video focuses on how to uh, generate the quantile uh, causality values and uh, compile a table. So we'll start with the commands. You need to install these three libraries. Uh, you can install it by removing the hash sign since it's already installed in my computer. I'm uh, adding a hash sign so that this command is not executed. You have to run these three libraries. The first is QR, MT2, then Contact Reg, and then PLM. Then uh, you should also add a library of Tidyverse, which is required if you want to add any, any data management process in your, uh, in your command. Now let's start with now we will start with loading the library uh, so for library read r because it's a csv file i'm loading a data file the data file has a country uh, name country variable and a year variable so i will declare it as a panel data using the panel data frame function so when i do it it is saved as a panel data file and you can see there's a in the index column where the country name and country code year has been used as an index. Now I will uh, declare a function first. Uh, I will go down it slowly so that you can just type it up. Uh, first is I will declare a function that is quantile causality test. It is equal to a function which requires four inputs, data file, independent variable, dependent variable, and the quantile value. And then it will store it as a result file, which is the data frame. First column will be tau, the quantile value, the coefficient of the x variable on y, and the probability value. Then it will start the function. So from i to length of tau, so how many how many tau you give means how many quantiles you want to ask. So it will first of all like look at the length. I will show you where it is given. It is given here. So tau. So the length, it will count how many quantile values you have asked for. It will run a loop for each value. Tau is equal to tau's i. So it will first of all pick the first one and then run the model. Dependent variable is a function of independent variable factor country. This is the LSDV method for panel data regression and the tau value which is stored here, which is given to you. Uh, using from here and the data file which is given to you in the low, low, low in the at the end then summary model will be model uh, and it will not show the confidence interval rather than it will show the p values and then it will show the kernel density for standard errors and there's a there's a check function if if uh, if the four coefficients are not reported means if the data is not long enough to run that quantile so it will give an error so otherwise it will it will store the value of the coefficient which is the uh, second um, second row first column and then second row fourth column for the p values and then it will store the results as a result uh, uh, data frame uh, within that data file tau coefficient value so it will create three columns first is the tau value then the coefficient value and then the p value so tau value is coming from here coefficient value is coming from here p value is coming from here if else if the runner if it, it is not estimated then it will give an error that there is no coefficient value available and then it will return the results so i will run this uh, this function you can when you make it you can just close it up and then run this function so it has been loaded as a function in in the r so it is shown here now i will give an input of tau so i am showing 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 quantiles you can get give more or less it's up to you so the input has been given then i will ask to run the model so results table this is an output quantile causality test the function name first input data it, i have given the data file data df.pd second input was x so df.pd dollar hdi third variable was uh, y so df.pd enit and then taus taus is coming from here so when i run this it will uh, first of all uh, for the check it has estimated the panel quantile regression using LSDV model method for all quantiles. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. All of them in the background. And then uh, another thing that you can do is that I have mentioned here, 
that in the line 26 this is the model that you have estimated you can add lags for x if you want to add lags for the quantile causality if you want to add con control variables you can add it here you can just write the name of the control variable here or, or you can add just plus, plus z and then and the, you can add the direct name of control variable here so that it can run so this way you can uh, amend this portion to to do a more detailed quantile causality so when i ask for the results table it will show you quantile value and and the p values for each coefficient and the pair probability value thank you very much for watching so the, this model can help you to estimate the uh, quantile causality uh, for a panel data thank you